Hi folks, it's Moz here and on the workbench today I'm going to be building my own electric handy drill from Tamiya. So I've been building this car from Pocker or should I say scale model and it uses a lot of screws and I was trying to find myself a little electric drill that I'll be able to put the screws in with. But I found this on Amazon for about £34. They're on offer at the moment, but I've seen them around for about 40 quid. But yeah, on Amazon at the moment, they're £34. And I thought I'd have a go at building one and have a, you know, and do a little review. So on the box, you've got a picture there of the drill all built up. There you go, there's a picture there of what it looks like inside. Looks like you're gonna need batteries, which are not included, but there's a, a motor, um, a 10 tooth gear, a 10 tooth gear and a 40 tooth gear. There's a trigger and a trigger guard, a trigger switch, a switch lock, and you get a chuck as well. Uh, side of the box, just show you some pictures of the uh, product in action. It needs some safety goggles. They're also not included. $19.99, apparently this is copyright on the side. Uh, the item number is 74041, if you want to go looking for it. And there's some more information there in Japanese. Uh, for your safety, never use nickel MH batteries. So I'm not too sure what that means, but I don't think they make them anyway. So there you go, there it is. We open up the box and there's all the bits I need to build this drill. So everything's on a spruce. You're actually going to be building your very own so it'll probably give you a bit of an education lesson on how an electric drill works so there's the body of the drill itself these are the cogs that you need so you've got 10 teeth 10 teeth 40 teeth i think they're stoppers for the back there is your trigger and i think that's a lever and some bits and pieces i think that's uh it also it doesn't need glue and i don't think i think it's all just snap together as well in the bag you have all your parts so uh, there's your your chuck there and I think that's your collet there uh, there's all the electric parts and there's uh, a bearing there I think and there's another uh, cog there also you get a pack with some screws in and an olive that one there you also get some grease and then you get your motor and then you also get another piece of the chuck so there's all the bits i need before i start can i ask a favor if you're not a subscriber to this channel will you please consider subscribing all you have to do is click subscribe ring that bell and if you select all that you'll be notified when i release a new video please also like the video and also in the comments is this something you'll be interested in buying i will leave a link in the description box below where you can purchase this from amazon i best off start building it
you are that's the build i assume the sticker goes somewhere but i'm not sure where um because it's got warnings there um but i don't know where, whether it goes on the back here or on there or on there i think it needs more tamiering up definitely There you go, I thought I'd have a use of some Tammy. I've got another Tamiya one I'll put along there as well, just for the bit of fun. But yeah, whoops. Then it locks, and that won't move. That's locked. Twist it. And then you've got yourself a little Tamiya drill. There you go, electric hand drill. Well, it drills okay. It's got, I put some rechargeable batteries in there, but it will drill through plastic absolutely fine. Watch. So if I'm, you know, I want to open up some holes, just to find the point, and then and there you go, drill the hole. Marvelous. Uh, just one thing, that bit there, you got to get pliers on it. That C clip is, well, they call it a. Uh, an e-ring but it's like a c-clip god the nightmare getting that on and it you know and i was trying to use my fingers and using tweezers no you've got to get it balanced i used these ones here to get it on but what a nightmare that is a bugger to get on but everything else is all good there you are i'm pretty happy with that just getting that up close you can see that the chuck has this button here, which is the uh, stop button. Well, if you push that, you can turn the chuck, but it will stop it from spinning. So that goes in and you can then undo the chuck and remove the drill bit. But also there are two collets. So you've got the, the this one here, and there's one which is a lot wider, which I suppose would do like your five mil or your six mil up. But these ones here are for your like really small ones, which is what I've got here. It's quite a tiny one. I think that's uh, a one millimeter, maybe a little bit more. And uh, yeah, so you keep your finger on that uh, button there. And then as you screw it in, it, whoops, make sure it's uh, straight. There we go. And then that's nice and tight then. And then you can, drill away that's your lock switch so trigger on if you lock it that trigger is held got that nice anyways that's basically everything about this drill and it, as i said it drills through wood and plastic i'm very impressed with it as i said i i bought it because i was thinking of uh using it to drill uh, the holes in models if I want to put stands in or put some uh, weaponry underneath uh, uh, a jet or a plane. Um, obviously, that wasn't the real reason of buying it. <laughs> As I said, this was just a random buy. You know, I wasn't looking for something like this. I was looking for an electric screwdriver. And this came up, I've seen them before for sale uh, at places, and I thought, let's have a go. And because you've got to build it, there's a journey and a bit of an education too as most electric drills are this, you know, a motor, some cogs, and a battery, and that's it. And I'm really pleased with it, you know. And it drills through plastic, what more can I want? Cool. That was an unboxing, 
build and review of this Tamiya electric handy drill for use for plastic and wood. What's your thoughts on this? Is this the sort of thing you would buy? I will leave a link in the description box where I got this kit from or this drill from. And uh, yeah, let me know in the comments whether you buy one or not. That's it. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, click like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Ring that bell. Click all to be notified when I release a new video. Any questions, any comments, leave them in the box below because I do reply. And a huge shout out to my channel members. Thank you so much for being part of this channel. If you want to help financially like these folks have done, please click join below and select which membership tier you so wish. If you'd like to see my latest video click here and if you like to see a selection of build videos click here